Hello, wonderful people, and welcome to another episode of Men of Space. So, guys, it's your favorite girl, Mena Lola, the one and only Duchess of Enjoyment, the Queen of Our Can't Be Bothered Kingdom. To all my Sonic subscribers, I want to say a very big thank you to you. And if you're just joining us for the very first time, thank you so much. Please do not forget to hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share with your friends. So, guys, today I want to tell you a short story about how I lost my bag in the UK. So, I traveled to Nigeria. On my way back to the UK, I labeled my bag with so many like stickers so i can recognize my bag on getting to the airport when we arrived Heathrow, we we're trying to pick up our bag and then i realized that this woman took my bag if you're nigerian you know the ghana must go so it was a ghana must go i'm talking about so that ghana must go had full stuff clothes not really clothes like shoes and some other thing was the biggest size of Ghana must go. So after tying all the wrapper on it, you know, for me to identify my bag. So I'm getting to where we're going to pick up our luggage. This one, this beautiful looking woman picked up my bag. And guess what? I saw it from afar, but I thought that it would not be my bag. Because this beautiful woman cannot be picking up my bag. Why would she pick up my bag? She looks like someone that has been traveling for ages. So she should know how these things work. She's not supposed to pick up my bag. And guess what? Few seconds later, I realized it was my bag and I chased this woman, but I couldn't even find her. She's already gone. So what can I do? So that's the problem I'm in till then. Like that bag never came back. We tried to get across to the airline, but we didn't get not, no response, no nothing. Bag is gone. Food is gone. Shoes are gone. Everything is gone. What can I do? So guys, this is a moral lesson for you all out there. So when you're traveling, if you try to get your luggage and you feel like someone has picked up your luggage, as you're seeing that person, it's best you go there first in a very polite way to secure your bag than waiting one second later. What if that person goes? What's going to happen? Imagine if I had something so important in there. What would have happened? It was just food and shoes. Those shoes were painful, but at the end of the day, I didn't have no Louis Vuitton. I didn't have no Fendi. I didn't have no Prada. So thank God I'm okay. Thank you, Jesus. So guys, Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the like, subscribe, share button. Bye-bye.